What's up, everybody? My name is Dilly Drake, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim on Legendary Difficulty. Last time, we finally beat the Ember Shard Mine, and now we are in Bleak Falls Barrel, which we actually got stuck at this part with the giant wounded Frostbite Spider, and I said I would go and get Feindel so we could do this. Hopefully we can do this. There he is. There's our main man. And we're gonna send him in first. So, uh... Yeah, you can, you can just... Uh, no, 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 no. You can, you can go... Yeah, yeah. You can do that, and then, um... Get aggroed. Then I will just do that. Our followers cannot die from enemies, but they can be taken down, essentially. So whenever they get to, like, like 1 HP, they, like, start crawling around on the ground. And you can actually end up killing them yourself if you're not careful and hit them. So, we gotta be careful of that if Vandel does go down. But, luckily, our biggest challenge from yesterday's video was super easily accomplished just because we had a follower with us. It's pretty interesting because that basically just tells us how easy this game can be if we just um, have a follower. So that's why I'm not going to try and use a follower that much. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Okay, so I'm not going to try and use Feindel or a follower too much just because, as I said, we can tell how easy this game will and can be if we have a follower and we want to make this as hard as possible, which is why we're even playing on Legendary. So, hopefully, we won't need to rely on Feindel too much. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> uh... <laughs> um so i was as i was saying this game is <laughs> really easy <laughs> with a follower um okay yeah, we, we just have to do this again Fidel attack please ah not me no <laughs> ah Okay, so we just beat the spider again, and we took down Arvel the Swift. Swift, implying that he is pretty quick on his feet, which is why he tends to run away. So, now we're gonna try the Draugr again, and hopefully not die this time. So we're just gonna... Wing a little bit on this dude. Why are you running? Yeah, these guys might be a little bit harder than I thought they would be. He didn't stagger. Oh god. Okay, there we go. Nice. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be pretty smooth sailing just from the fact we beat the spider so easily, but I guess not. Hopefully, we can actually get some upgrades, though, in this section. Because... Even though we just got our armor and stuff not too long ago, it'd be pretty nice. Okay. Can't get anything from there. I don't know if we should use... Hmm. Because we can just attack this guy. But he's basically, um, the equivalent to a bandit outlaw. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. No. 
Okay. Ah. Okay. Uh. Oh, I am dying. Okay. I'm going in this pretty recklessly just because of my follower. But hopefully I can be a little bit more strategic going more into this. So. Because there's another one of these we'll have to fight. I mean, this one was optional, but I just wanted to see how well we could do against this one before going into the next one. Wait, no, what are you doing? Alright. <laughs> this way, my friend. I just missed that. Okay. Oh! What hit me? Oh, it was that freaking archer in the background, dude. Oh no! I forgot to quick save! Oh my gosh. As I was just talking about being more strategic. I forget the one strategy I actually used. <laughs> Even though you can do that, I'll probably be right back. <laughs> okay, and we're back. That took a little longer than I expected to come back to this point, but we're back and we quick saved, so let's hope nothing like that happens again i want to try and get rid of this guy as quick as possible okay these guys seem a little weaker now in terms of health they're still like really strong in terms of damage but i don't know their health just seems a lot lower for some reason, even though... Is it because it, my, my one hand is a pretty high level? I don't know. I don't know if the level actually gives... Um... Like, more damage or not? Or if it's just, like, the perks themselves? But... Oh well. Uh, there's a chest up here that we can unlock. Then at apprentice level. Oop. There we go, that's not too bad. Nothing good though, so. Oh well. Uh, gonna have to do a little bit of maneuvering around here. Cool. Oh, I should probably quick save again. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I just ran straight into this dude. Yeah. Uh. Oh yeah, I gave Vendel a uh, a sword instead of a dagger. So hopefully, I mean that has been helping a little bit, as probably um, you could see. We're in a little bit of a harder section because the enemies are so close together now. Oh, that dude has like... Okay, I have no stamina. <laughs> Hit run. Okay. My heavy armor isn't even level 20 yet. Ah! Yo, that guy has an actual hammer! Okay, hopefully I can maybe get rid of this guy and then start wailing on this guy. Yeah, I definitely couldn't do the rest of this dungeon without, um, Vandal. I thought it was gonna be easier because the Draugrs are basically just bandits. But 
they seem to be a lot harder, so... You have to be a little more careful. There's only one enemy in this room coming up, so that's not too bad. He has a two-handed sword, though. That still hit me! What?! <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I say it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, we, oh, we have to do this whole thing again. Okay. I'm gonna be a little more careful here. Hopefully, you go and attack Vandel. Not me. I know you're looking at me. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Why did my heavy armor increase? He didn't even hit me. <laughs> oh, well. Why? <laughs> I couldn't move. Ooh. No. Why is this so hard? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna be a little more careful. <laughs> okay. Run away from you. Why? Oh! Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna save right here. I'm gonna do a lot of saving, as I said in the last video, so... Uh, steel great sword. Oh, come on. I want it heavy armor, dude. Like, give me steel armor, please. Fidel? Never noticed there's a troll stall in here. Oh! I never noticed this dead miner. Oh yeah, by the way, I picked up that pickaxe from the last episode where we fought the bandit that had a pickaxe on him for some reason, so... Now we can... Oh wait! There's a vein right there. Um, gonna do a little bit of mining. Usually you can just click E to, um, do the mine. Like, go into the mining animation, but hitting it is just easier. Gonna... On. It's always, like... I don't know if this is, like part of the game's engine, or if it's just me, but whenever I, um, pick a class, 
or from the uh one of the stones um my loot always seems to be of like from everything but the class i chose again i don't know if that's just me or if it's the game engine itself but it's very hard to pick up loot unless you actually make it yourself or if you find, like, um, guaranteed special items, like Daedric items and stuff like that. Which I don't mind, it's just a little question I've been wondering about for a while. Even though it auto saved, I I feel a lot better quick saving. So I think we're gonna run into another one of those like um triple axe swinging things. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay, enemy right there. Fandel didn't die. That's good. I hope we can get rid of. This, okay, he's not even trying to hit us, which is very nice. <laughs> uh, let's hope this dude gets aggroed by Fandel, and it does not seem so. Okay, I'm getting hit by the archer. Stop. <laughs> Gonna heal up while Fandel does his thing. Nice. Oh! <laughs> that is really scary. Okay, at least he's not targeting me. Should be able to get rid of him quite quickly. And I actually want to kind of explore this place a little bit more. Because I want to see if there's like things that I haven't discovered yet. Because I know in the Ember Shard Mine, I discovered a room which I haven't seen before, even though I go through that place every single playthrough of this game. So, I'm wondering, since this place is quite bigger, if there's another type of secret that I didn't know about before. Doesn't look like there's anything over in this room though, so fine. We're actually at the end right now. We just have to open up this door and we only have to fight one more enemy, so it's not quite bad. We just hope to not die several times. 
and actually, before we do that even, I'm going to quick save as soon as we get through this door. Just so... Actually, I'm gonna do it whenever we get up here. Okay. Quick save. I wonder if anything's in here. I always look at it, but I never actually come over here. Alright, I don't think anything is here. Alright, so we're gonna activate the boss. And hopefully it doesn't go too bad for us. Let's see how much damage we do to him. We don't do anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, he's fighting Fendel right now, so we can just start doing a little bit of this. Probably just going to take a long time to kill at this point. Unless Fendel goes down, then we're screwed. But hopefully we can get him down enough to where... We don't have to struggle as much as we have been. Hello? Okay. Ow! Oh! Don't think no. Yes! Get up! Yeah! Good job. Okay, so this is what we needed, the dragon stone. I should kind of want to take a closer look at this. Dragon writing, I don't know what that says. Cool. Okay, anyway. Um, I might take this, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. I just need some, uh, uh, what is it? Soul stones? Soul gems. Yeah, I just need some build soul gems and we can use that for a little while. But anyway, since we're done here, we can actually go through three chests instead of the one that we saw earlier. I don't know if there's a secret fourth chest anywhere, but I only know there's three. So it's this one behind the um, award wall. It's a novice locked chest, so it shouldn't be too bad. Usually we can't get too much stuff out of it, but it had some pretty useful stuff for us, so it's not quite it's not too bad. Then we have the bigger chest, the dungeon chest, I guess. And actually get less useful things in there than we did the last one. And then we have one behind this waterfall. Oh, we yeah, got a petty soul gem. Which can fill up our uh, weapon a little bit. So it's not, it's not bad. But now with that done and over with, we can finally leave. And we will go and return the, dra the Golden Claw to... Oh! We didn't accept that quest. Okay, well, we can... <laughs> okay. Uh, we can uh, go to Riverwood and... Um... Give the Golden Claw to Lucian and his sister at the Riverwood Trader. Lucian the Warrior. Uh... How would we usually get down from here? Because I usually just tra fast travel to um, Riverwood, but since we're not doing that... Where the... <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is he down there? <laughs> Okay, I guess we're just gonna have to do a little bit of uh, 
that. All right. Um, would you want to put a marker on um, River Wood, just so I know where we're going? We can visit that hot house icon over there and see what's going on. Hmm. Little rabbit. All right, we made it to the little house. We can see what's going on over here. This is a niece. I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. Yeah, she says that, but she's actually a very powerful wizard for the start of this game. So I definitely don't want to mess with her. She actually has a little bit of lore to her. She, um, I don't know if she drove her daughter away or something, but I, yeah, I think she drove her daughter away because she is being consumed by power and wants to become a hag raven, which is one of the enemies that, oh, okay, which is one of the enemies in this game. Um, but her, her, um, her daughter didn't want anything to do with that, she got scared and ran away, and now her mom is trying to, Anise is trying to get her back. But anyway, we just ran into a thief, so I don't, I don't think we need to listen to you. Then I guess that's your last request, fool. Maybe you're the fool. Oh, okay, you're just going off. <laughs> Ow! Maybe I'm the fool! I'm the fool! <laughs> oh god, we're probably gonna have to run into this guy a lot. <laughs> Who knew the trip back to Riverwood would be more challenging? <laughs> yeah. We're gonna do that again. Obviously. I will probably meet you back at the cabin. Okay, we're back at the cabin. Vindel is behind us a little bit. Ooh, soul gem. Oh. Cannot steal that, especially from her. So we're just gonna continue going forward. And hopefully that thief doesn't try to stop us again. Because he was a lot harder than I thought he would have been. Oh, yeah, she got someone else. Hello this there, guy, Talscar the Wanderer. Smell that fresh air? Truly, this is a anyway, place to play a song. we can ignore him because he's not very hostile. So, Riverwood is just over there, which is pretty nice. So we can finally get things moving along and not having to stay around this area for too long too much longer i mean even though it is quite nice the scenery is absolutely beautiful in this game even though it's only i mean it is like 11 years old at this point almost it's gonna be 11 years old this year this is like unmodded too which is quite Surprising. We can remove that. Then we can make our way to the trader. Go back to White Run. Hand over the stone. And I think we would end the video when we get to that point because our next quest after that would be to fight the dragon at the Eastern Watchtower. So. We uh, yeah. An definitely. So, you found um, it. I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll yeah, but, uh, I don't even know. what I was about to say <laughs> my mind my just froze. So but we can we can take this guy's gold. 
That's all I know. <laughs> um, oh, I have to get rid of Pandel. We don't want him. We only needed you for the barrow, so we're gonna part ways. And now I will trek the adventure to Whiterun on my own. Hopefully nothing bad happens. <laughs> Okay, we made it back into White Run without any complications, which is very nice. Uh, we will take a little break at the blacksmithing area. Oh, <laughs> we will take a little break here just to um, make some iron ingots and maybe level up our blacksmithing a little bit more. Because I found out from the last video that um, whenever I went on the workbench, I didn't need two iron ingots for to upgrade all of my items. Instead, I that's how much ingots I have. So we can actually craft all of these. Wait, no, I don't want that. Oh yeah, I can't make steel yet. I might use that on my next level up if I don't need... Um, if I'm not using it in a very desperate situation, but I think I might still just be able to save all of my level ups for desperate situations, so... There the um... Like, whenever you level up, the enemies kind of scale with you up to a certain point, but... Which makes the game harder. But we're trying to make this already hard playthrough as easy as possible, which is not easy. <laughs> that, I don't even know if that made sense, but... Uh, where is the Arl? Oh. Who the heck are you? What? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Why is Delphine here? <laughs> You're not supposed to be here. Good. I'm glad you're making Wait, I never knew this. anxious to have some tangible answers. Oh my gosh. The Jarl himself has finally taken because so she she's gonna be a very important character later in the story. This isn't some theoretical question. Dragons have come back. Oh, I think this is what happens yes, yes, if you do the um, like if you don't go to Bleak Falls before you come here. Like if you come here first and then go to Bleak Falls and get the stone. I think this is what happens. Because we're not supposed to know who she is yet. Yes, the Jarl's protege. Back from Bleak Falls Barrow. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it's exactly what it seems like. Because I've always went to uh, uh, Bleak Falls first, just because it was like really easy at the time. So your information was correct after all. Huh? I wonder if she says anything to us. You went into Bleak Falls Barrow and got that. Nice work. This is the only time I'm gonna be interested in the story. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously I like the story of the game, which is why I kind of play it, besides the gameplay. I, I've just seen the story way too many times to even, like, care about the about it at this point, so. I just, that's why I'm skipping through it, by the way. If you don't want me to skip it, just let me know and I can... I could definitely just not skip it from now on, but so, as of right now, I'm gonna skip it. Uh, damn. Tell him what you told I can't talk to him. Why does he have an iron sword in a display case? Oh, I want to know. Hmm. Maybe I can talk to him now. There we go. Now, this is the quest where we will have to go to the Eastern Watch Western Watchtower. 
and fight the dragon. And of course, we got a hide shield instead of something useful. But we did kind of get something useful. We got minor blocking, which is a 15% increase to, well, 15% resistance to damage when you block. So we can actually unenchant this, because I said in the first episode that we might get into enchanting. So we can unenchant this and put our enchantment on this. Which will, would be pretty useful. But, I think since we've now just just gotten the quest to fight the dragon, I think we will end this episode here. I... <laughs> so, we completed the bleak bleak balls, we completed the little side mission in the wood to get the golden claw back, we came back here, and we... Just started the main story to fight the dragon. And that means after this quest, dragons will have a chance to spawn in the, um, oh, what is it called? Like, whenever I'm adventuring to another place, like, let's say I'm, like, from Riverwood to Whiterun, like, whenever I'm walking that road, there's a chance a dragon could spawn and just attack me out of nowhere. So this is, after this quest, the game is going to get a lot harder <laughs> just because of that. But I am actually pretty excited for it. And again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you next time whenever we go to the Watchtower. Alright. Bye-bye, everyone.